Hello YouTube, we're going to end up making some Halloween cookies for dogs. This is my daughter, she got it at the store, it's a, I don't know, Halloween treat maker for dogs. Give out some dog treats for Halloween. These are the ingredients and we'll do a video and we'll make up some ingredients and egg, flour, peanut butter and it looks like a um, uh, pumpkin pie. Okay, we'll bring you back soon. Okay, it tells you to heat it up. So that's what we're gonna do. It's warming up right now. Making some ingredients. There's a book that came with it with a whole bunch of them. This is bigger. This is the easiest one to pick out. All right, this is what are they? A teaspoon? Half, no, half, half, half teaspoon. teaspoon. Okay, tablespoon. All right, there's the thing. One, two, three, four. I guess if you want to close that lid, we'll put the timer on. Five minutes. Is it, did it didn't lock. Right, I, can you close it? Close it. Right. I'll mix more. The dough is too sticky. Just use a little bit more of the whole wheat flour. It'll keep it from getting too sticky. You kind of want it like a dough, but you don't want it like really hard, or you don't want it really sticky. Looking for that sweet spot. And they're really cooking, huh? It's like a waffle iron, except for dogs. Yeah. All right. Cookie will like anything. I know. You can Bella, get her anything. Buddy, I don't know. Yeah. And all the dogs that come around for Halloween. Yeah. Abby next door will love it. <laughs> Three minutes to go. Boy, this thing is smoking a lot. All right. You use some pan on that. So this will make about 27 dog treats, it says. Somewhere. That's what they're supposed to look like. Let's see how they work out, actually. I don't know what that says, dash. All right, half a minute. All right, just click back on again, actually. Okay. It just, so I guess it must go on and off automatically. Probably, depending just, on steam. Yeah, and... heat. All right. Hmm. I guess that's about it. It's that's okay. it. Mm -hmm. you want me to hold that? No, you, you want to take it out? Let's see if we can get it out. Mmm. Mmm. They look like they go right. Kind of. You know what? Oh, fails. so you know what? We should have flattened out the dough. Okay. All right. So next one, you got to flatten out the dough. Not as pretty, but well, we'll get it better works. At it. They're yeah. cookies. For the dogs anyway, yeah, the little rest in peace thing. Very hard to see. Yeah, no, I think you want to make it flatter. See, you want to make it as flat as possible. As flat as possible. So Yeah, just watch it doesn't get too sticky. Because see, look, you want it to go to the whole thing. But that's what you you're gotta supposed to press it down, right? Yeah, but it's not doing the whole thing unless you make them bigger or something. See, I can't. Try this pressing them down. We'll do an experiment. Or you maybe you need some more of that. Are okay, you ready? Yeah, you gotta close it hard too. Okay, that's it. Well, as soon as it clicks, that's it. So that's why I'm wondering if you maybe. What are you doing? It was clicked. Okay, it clicked. Okay. Yeah. Set for five minutes. I mean, they cook. You're gonna have to break the pieces off them. Oh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but yeah, these will be the test ones. Yeah. 
Well, this they're not perfect, but I guess we'll try to get better. We'll see what happens. I'm sure Cookie will have no problem with these. <laughs> mm. And you can probably eat them yourself because they're all natural. So, all right, I'll bring you back when we make some more. Hopefully, we'll get better at it, and I'll show you what they look like. So some of them seem like they're working, trying to make them this. They say in the directions to make them two by four, a little bit like longer than, or kind of push them in there. I don't know. This one came out pretty good. Again, they're for the dog, so. But still got a lot left. It's, they said it makes about 27. We'll see what happens. The biggest problem is every time you got to wait about five minutes because it's all it takes to make them. Um, what do you think, Belle? Gonna like them? for you. Mm. Yeah, it worked, but I don't think the best. It's, uh, I mean, they're for dogs, but uh, maybe a couple practices or something. I'm going to say it worked out okay. I mean, again, it's a uh, dash. Yeah, I'll wait a few minutes. I'll, I'll end the video and give you my thoughts. I don't know. So this is basically the uh, dash Halloween cookie maker for dogs. You know, it works out. Um... I don't know. I guess I got to get better. I'm not professional. I did read the instructions. It really, it said to make little two by four squares, but yeah, they don't look the best. Um, but it, it did work. It did what it was supposed to do. It, it was $12. I mean, what do you expect? Um, anyway, I'm sure the dogs will enjoy it. I'm sure they'll have a great time. For me, I don't know. You know in fact, I, my neighbor's dog was just outside and <laughs> she had no problem with it. So... They have uh, peanut butter, pumpkin. I guess they're peanut butter pumpkin cookies. That's what they consider them. Uh, some whole wheat flour and one egg. So, yeah, it does shut on and off. It'll go on and off by itself. So. Okay, so yeah, as you can see how they come out. Some of them come out okay, some of them don't. They do get a little hot. Alright. So I'll pop this thing. Let that dry off. Let that cool. Well, that's it. I'm sure the dogs will enjoy them, but if anybody's interested, this is a dash. Uh, dog treat maker. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon. I'm, I think my daughter got it actually at a secondhand store. But anyway, take care, YouTube, and we hope all the kids enjoy Halloween. Take care, and the dogs.